In this video I'm going to be showing you how to construct the MDF part of this project here that is available from That's Crafty. If you like the contents of this video please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new and click on the notifications button. This will allow you to be notified of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. Right, without further ado, let's get making this MDF kit. Hello and welcome to this how-to video for That's Crafty Products. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a film strip shrine using these laser cut elements from That's Crafty. First of all, familiarise yourself with the kit and what it actually contains. So you can see here is the main film strip. You've got the little brackets in the middle there. You've got two shelves if you want to use it in portrait format. You've got two shelves here if you want to use it in landscape format. You have two elements that basically will stick onto the back of your film strip once you've decorated it, if you want it to be freestanding. And then you have the main box construction that again can be used in either portrait or landscape format depending which of these tabs you actually press out. So the glue that I'm going to be using to put together this kit is the multi-purpose craft adhesive from That's Crafty. It's the perfect glue to be putting together all of your MDF kits. First of all we're going to start with the back plate. So what we need to do is basically just pop some glue on the tabs on the base layer. So we're just going to apply a little bit of glue to all of those tabs like so. And then also to these tabs here just along the one edge. Then once you've applied the glue there you then just need to line them up like so, so the teeth or the tabs are in position and then just pop that into an upright position. If you have any glue that's actually spilt out, now's the time just to use a piece of kitchen cloth just to wipe that away. Now turning the piece around, we just need to apply some more glue to these tabs here and then also to the other piece on the opposite side so again just a little bit of glue and as we did before just pop those tabs in so they join up and then just rotate it 90 degrees and again just wipe out all of that glue. Now we can just apply some glue to these tabs just here and also to the side pieces as well just a little bit of glue on those and then taking just one end of the tabs, you're just going to want to put the glue onto those ones as well. And once again, just line up all those tabs and then flip it so it's at 90 degrees. Just really press that just to confirm that all the glue has sealed all of those joints up. And again, just using a kitchen cloth, just wipe away all the excess glue. And then finally for the back plate here, we're just going to apply some glue to these tabs as well. So a little bit onto there. Just spin that round. Those two. And then once again, the other end. So just go all the way along. And again, just push that in there so all of those tabs line up perfectly and then just hold that in position until the glue grabs and like we've done before just wipe away any of the glue that seeps out and there is our back box. Bring it back in our film strip part just take out all of the tabs and then just pop them aside these will come in really handy if you want to add dimension to some of the pieces you're actually going to put into the box frame. And I'll show you what I mean by that a little bit later. So you have your film strip ready to stick onto your back plate and just pop all of these elements just aside and keep them safe. So taking the back box, now it's the time just to apply glue around all of the top edges there. 
it's just a little bit of glue on all four sides. And then when you have the glue on all four sides, bring back in your film strip and then just line up the outer frame with the inner box and you've got a little bit of time just to move things around and then just make sure that if there's any glue that has oozed out now is the time to remove it and so what you want to make sure is that the outer part of the frame like I say is flush with the wall on all four sides so just keep on moving everything around until you're happy and then once you're happy with the position of that I always just use some tubs of like texture paste something that's heavy just to hold everything in place whilst the glue dries so now is the time to decorate the inside of your box element so maybe you want to put the backing paper in there or on the sides now is the time to do it once you've done that, or indeed painted the insides, then you can add these the little shelves. The shelves can be used in either portrait format, like so, okay, or you have two longer strips of MDF that can be used then in landscape format. So I'm just going to spin that around so you can see that, like so. Now how I've actually done it, it makes it really easy to actually align them so your shelves are straight because you do get the little brackets as well. And you're going to get six of those, although you only need four. Right, so if you want to, let's just say, have two of your landscape shelves in and you're struggling with getting them straight, then what you need to do is actually use your portrait ones, okay? And just pop that along the side there, decide where you want your spacing for your shelves. So maybe I want one just there. Okay, so I'm just going to mark with pencil on there. And then maybe my other shelf I want about there. So again, I'm just going to make a line there. I'm just going to put a T so I know that is the top. And I'm going to pop that inside, okay, which we're going to go down there. And then just simply where your pencil marks are on this piece of MDF, just copy them onto the inside of your box. Okay, so then just going around with this piece here, I'm just going to follow that pencil mark round. So it's on that side, so again just go round and mark on that side, top, okay. So we're just going to flip it around this time so those little lines show on there. And again, just holding that up, then just copy the lines that are on that strip of NDF onto there. Okay, so you can just see the little pencil marks there and the little pencil marks there. Now if you wanted to be using these shelves to actually pop things in, then you can do exactly the same method by using the longer strip to position that. Then all you need to do is get your little brackets, put a little bit of glue on just one side, and also just on the back part there, and then just place that inside, just so it lines up with your pencil mark like so and that is how you position all of your brackets. Just give that a couple of moments to actually for the glue to grab and then you can pop in your little shelves. So it's up to you, you can glue these in and you just need to run a little bit of glue just down either edge. I'm just going to pop them in dry for the moment just so we can see how that works. And there we go, you've got perfect alignment of those shelves.
Now as well as the shelves you're also going to get these two pieces of MDF as well. These are if you want to display your finished piece actually freestanding. Now you can have it so it is either in portrait mode which is this way or in landscape mode. Now if you want to hang it on the wall you'll see there are also two tabs and they will do exactly the same. So this is the portrait if you want to hang it on the wall and this one is the landscape so you can push those out. So to have this freestanding all you need to do is for the portrait way which is up that way you need to basically pop that underneath your MDF kit okay so it's basically going to be touching that back wall okay and then all you need to do is using a pencil okay just make a line on your MDF strip like so and you will know this part here you do not apply glue so let's just go with a little bit of glue just on there okay so this is for the portrait way so we're just going to flip that round now the easiest way to find the center is to look at these tabs here so you can see you've got one two three tabs so this is the center part I'm just going to take those shelves out for the moment because I haven't glued them in okay so what we're going to do there is twist it round again, line up the middle dark tab, pop that in like so, just so you can see your line, and then just position that accordingly. Hold that for a couple of seconds, like so, and then you can position it freestanding on possibly a shelf or a side unit. If you want to have the little unit displayed in a landscape format then quite simply you pop, you pop your MDF strip under here just twist it round so basically this part is touching the back side there hold that in position again just using a pencil just mark put it across there so you know that's not where the glue's got to go and then again just using a little bit of glue okay like so twist that around and likewise you've got three tabs of the lighter color one two three so you know this is the center part here so again we're just going to twist that round okay and then you can position that accordingly so as you can see I'm just making sure that my line is visible holding that in position okay and then when you're ready okay once that glue has grabbed you can now twist that around and have it in a landscape format which is freestanding as I mentioned it does have these two tabs here so portrait you push out that tab to hang it on the wall and if you want to landscape you push out this tab here but maybe you want to add lights as well so we can still push out that one okay even though it's going to be a portrait design and this is where you can then actually pop your lights in from the back of your box like so and you can tuck those through there and then you can glue those lights in position as you so wish if you have got shelves that you want to put in then that's the reason not to glue them into position so once you've got all your wires in place and possibly you've glued them into position using hot glue then just put your shelves back in obviously there's going to be a little bit of a gap at the back of your shelf but that's where your wire is going to go so that's a way of actually using this particular kit so you can actually pop in some lights and then on the back there you can just glue the battery pack just like so onto the side wall okay or onto the back wall entirely up to you so now comes the fun part where you've popped your paper or you've decorated the back of your box here you put your shelves in now you can decorate the rest of your film strip shrine 
you can use whatever mediums that you like and as I mentioned earlier these elements here that we popped out they're really good to keep because then you can pop those inside like so and then you can build up elements that maybe you want to go on top and obviously the more dimension you want then the more pieces that you glue together first off and then place inside of your box so we're just going to pop another one in there and I'm just going to find another little element that we can place there so it's just adding more dimension and more interest to your finished project. So now the all important measurements for your fully constructed MDF film strip shrine. So the box that you're going to be able to decorate there is basically 13 and a half centimeters in height by just under 10 and a half centimeters wide. The depth of the box is just about three centimeters. Now the width here is 19 centimeters and the height of your finished box is going to be 16 centimeters. If you would like to purchase this film strip shrine the link is in the description below or you can go to that'scrafty.co.uk